so I'm at the Home Depot and y'all like uh, it's raining which I love because usually Home Depots are so hot to like walk around for like a hot minute right but do y'all see this they're in 988 like how can I say no to that I mean they have some really pretty look at this Caletia medallion for 10 bucks it's a little bit damaged but that is so reasonable yeah, here the rain it's it's so relaxing and it's so beautiful like i love it when it rains and they have some really good proven winter's plants and some other goodies as well i'm trying not to buy no plants but how can i say no to this and then drancinas as well and sometimes they have like doubles it sounds like they'll have only one which is not bad that is so nice oh yeah like <sighs> wow wow even the golden potos y'all they're only 10 bucks and like some of them are really nice and luxurious and full Just look at that variegation but i'm like david do you have space david and then these ficuses like these so for for 10 bucks i already have one i'm just gonna like try to admire it and like suck it all in absorb it whatever you want to call it so i don't gotta take it home but that is such a good deal look at this one so so good love 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 i love me some good drinks so they even got these alocasias which also look a little bit damaged but like i said they're on sale for 10 bucks it has three of them in here and I was calling them acorns, but they're called corns because they have like little bulbs that they develop. So that's pretty fun. They have more on this side, which I'm pretty sure they're also on sale. I mean, like, wow. It's a very big leaf. Nice ponytail palm. Another really nice looking Calathea. This one doesn't look that bad. I don't even have spider mites, which usually like these big box store plants have pests, but these are so clean. Just nice. Look at this um, sago palm, I believe. Whole needle leaf coming through. Well, a bunch of them actually. So that's really, really nice. They got some of these Maria Singonium, so put the water droplets and everything. Look at that. It's so beautiful. They got some Ostreperus which are drowning in water. And they got these Balti Blues. Which is like huge. Wow. Super healthy. So that's nice and then they have a bunch of these i got some dirt on my hands red elf lipstick plant i don't even think i'm gonna put audio in the background it's just so relaxing with the rain really pretty very good at a pepperonium They have like these variegated umbrella plants too, which are really, really nice. Some begonias. Look at that. Some ruffle ferns. Oh, these look pretty good. Fluffy ruffle fern, $5.98. So pretty. I really like the, the variegated umbrellas, they're super gorge. They got a Francina, I think it's called a jewel. White jewel. A Pisoli. And then they got more ficuses. And look at these massive Francinas from Costa Farm. Oh, they're actually Virgo, which I found out they're like the same company. 
I think it has two or three. It only has two. <sighs> but that's really, really nice. And then they have some painted ladies, which people say they're not painted ladies because like they don't have like the pink um, stem. But that's what they're calling it, painted lady philodendron. And then some aglonemas too. Which are, look at this one. Just so lush and full. And these are 20 bucks, which is not that bad. I love that little spot on that leaf. And you got these like painted ladies are just insane. And then they have some silver streak photos. Look at that. These are really, really big. Holy crap. They're massive. Like I said, they're all 20 bucks. All the close to farm ones. They got some ravens. Some pink princess philodendrons. Chameleon ZZs. Re oh, I didn't say regular, but I think it's also chameleon. They just haven't put out no new leaves. And y'all, they have some of these um, silver dragons. I always forget what they're called. I was already trying to find some sports or some variegated ones. Because sometimes you can get pretty lucky and find some variegated ones. But there's none. But even that looks super nice. They're so pretty. And they have some Calathea Dotties. I just love the dark foliage. I'm pretty surprised how it's still photosynthesized, right? Because like it needs to be green to like be able to do so. Gorge. And then they got some global. Which is the golden? Huh. This is supposed to be a global green, but I see some like golden photos. Sometimes they get mixed up by accident. But this is a uh, golden photos. Right, and then we do see the global green. Look at that, and this massive piece of it, which is super duper nice. And then these are the proven winners, which I'm kind of surprised by the selection that they have. I see some goodies that, like, I feel like a lot of y'all would freak out, but these are also really interesting. These are like the H2O bowls. Snow White Syngonium, 1998. Ooh, it's like flooded. But look at this Calathea. And sometimes these are on sale, but these are not on sale. I don't see a sign. How pretty. And what's the name? Usually they do have a name. Oh, look, it has a free cutting. I don't see the name. Yeah, I know. I see a peacock calathea. These tritiscantias, y'all, are like huge. This is a feeling flirty. They're just so massive. So massive. Like, oh! I picked one up and I think it was this one. I was just flabbergasted by it. Like, look. It's just so lush. And then I think I see some white knight. I think that's what they're called. A white wizard. They got some Radisic Calatheas. These are all 20 bucks. $19.98. I will pull one up for y'all to show y'all. They got some Swiss cheese or Arisonia. $19.98. Which is nice. They got more of those Singonians. And then they got some Hoyas, which are super duper cute. And then I think this is like some sort of like succulent. Mm, Rosie, Posey, Crisula, Pelucida, $5.98. And these little fuzzy ones. Which, no, no, there's some fuzzy ones. These are fuzzy. Pretty and her Puritor? 
Chris Sula. Probably pronounced it incorrectly, I'm pretty sure. Ooh. Turquoise Tentacles Choreo. <laughs> These names are so like crazy. I see a Marvel Queen photos. Look at that. Because that's a golden photos, right? I'm pretty sure they called it something else, which I'm going to show y'all. But this is a Marvel Queen. $5.98. Stopped raining. It comes and goes. And then, what do they call you? They call it Hawaiian. Pretty interesting. Supposedly, Hawaiians are really variegated. Some people are like really like a Hawaiian's different from a golden photos, which I, I could, I mean, obviously, right? Hawaiians are more variegated. Like, this is really variegated. But, um, golden photos can do almost the same. I'm, I'm gonna just say they could be different, but you can get the same effect on a golden photos if you put it in a really bright spot. Okay. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> and then, look, this is the one that I was. Oh, my knees are starting to hurt. Can I pull it out? There you go. 30 bucks, but it doesn't have a name. Yeah, I don't see the name. But it's this. Really, really pretty. Oh, such pretty very good leaves, to be honest. And then they got some ficuses, which are always fun to look at. And they got these other ficuses too. Look at this leaf. Look at that, damn. <laughs> it's like half of this is all white and creamy and the other half is just like very good. Like how it's supposed to look, but I wish mine can like, I feel like, you know, I just, I keep forgetting that ficuses are really like hungry plants they want fertilizer all the time not enough to burn it right but they want more than above average than a lot of the other plants so that's probably what i gotta do with mine i gotta fertilize it because it is not it's not growing up like that much as it used to probably because the fertilizer already ran out look at that Clear Kerner is a tricolor. That's pretty. I'm really tempted to get a Hoya. Ooh, can I put it somewhere? <laughs> Let's see if I can put it over here and get it. There's water and dirt everywhere, so I'm sorry if the soil in my hands kind of bothers a little bit of y'all, but I just love picking up the plants and seeing the gorgeous foliage spider plants which i don't have one i used to pixie punk not quite sure how they're gonna how i can pronounce that but i need to get a spider plant again and i got these massive ones on top which are also 30 bucks some come with this plastic one and some come with like this basket I'm trying to like shake off the soil Look at that, y'all. This is a ficus, by the way, and it's so pretty. Again, no name. It used to come with names. This is not a location. It's just all a fresh shipment because they all look so good. Look at these two ficuses. The creamy one and like the reddish one. Pretty. And then they got some of the old proven winners on this side, which is almost all the same stuff, to be honest. And then they got the cactuses, which I know a lot of you guys do like to look at too. Quick little overview Aloha's. Oh, look at this one. Ooh, some water in my shoes now. Oh, this is so 
pretty. I'm getting here before you yell at me. 44.98 Madagascar Palm. So if I'm not showing, sure, be like, David, why didn't you show us? So pretty. Pretty. Look at these cactuses, y'all. Oh, and the lit tops. These are all 498. Oh no, 468. So it's basically all the plants they have at the Home Depot. It's honestly not bad. They have some pretty good stuff. I like it when they're mixed like that. Look at that. But yeah, I just want to like show y'all and share with you what they had. This raven was from a six inch planter on a massive terracotta and it is just putting out leaf after leaf and I'm just so happy with it. Also, <laughs> it has a little bit of Valentino, but I'm just gonna go ahead and water him. Oh, there's Valentino. Also, the Divinbecchia camouflage. It had a melee bugs, but Valentino, they're sleeping, baby. They're sleeping. but this girl it's kind of fun because like i have the raven the chameleon and i'm not sure if you guys can tell but it is the chameleon yeah i know how it is it puts out like it's like variegation and then it turns to green it's also like in a big planter which is fun and then we got the zz just the regular zz which is beautiful and i'm just really 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 proud of all these girls. They're actually getting a lot of light. And then this beautiful Drancina, which I believe, I, oh, I was getting confused. Drancinas and snake plants aren't the same family now. Um, I think it's Drancinas. Now they're called Sensevarias, or Sensevarias are called Drancinas. <laughs> Basically, they can purify the air at night too. I think that's what like, they found out. I don't know, girl, but I'm gonna water the fiddle. Which has put out so many new leaves. Well, it did, but now they're hiding it off. How fun. Also, the lime light can see us, they're still at the bottom. Like, they it had um, some snake plants at the bottom, but like they're not doing so good, so I had to pull them out. And then this Francina was getting melly bugs, so I pulled it out and I sprayed rubbing alcohol, diluted, and that's how I take care of melly bugs. Also, look at my massive Marble Queen Potos, which for some reason it always <sighs> it dries out really, really fast. It's still in its nursery planter, and I probably gotta water it again. It gets empty so fast, and you can, you can see how it's starting to like go up. So I gotta go water it, and it does have melis. It's just a plant that I've been struggling. It just has so much foliage. I do want to wash it off. This girl, this girl, girl, quiet. It's too early. It also. I need to put the plastics again. I bought these from Amazon. He just hit me. Sassy little thing. Because he was scratching this. So I bought these little like plastic things from like Amazon. It's like a sticker. It has done amazing. But since I moved the sofa. I need to cover this side. And this side. Because he likes to scratch. You guys look at my Chinese evergreen silver break. I was going to give you guys some updates on the um bedroom but oh my god on the plant room but i haven't showed you guys the plants on the, on the living room so 
Yeah, this is the living room, the fiddle, the ZZs, different Vakia, the only one that I'm able to keep alive. My Christmas cactus, which is always smooshed because of the curtains, but it's right there and it's doing pretty good. I might need to water it. This massive begonia that my boyfriend propagated by leaf a couple years back and I placed them all together because they got nice and big. So now it's just in this nice big planter. Valentino, I'm gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna girl, girl. For real. Be so for real. We got the um, Diamond Jet Peacefully from Costa Farm. This Aglonema, which is blooming. My other Peacefully. I tried to cut off the flowers. I need to cut that one off. Because um, they're kind of bad for um, pets. And then my Domino Peacefully, which it was from Plantarina. And it's just so big. I'm so proud of it. As I was moving it, I broke the piece off by accident. And I have it in the kitchen, right over there, <laughs> propagating in water. This is my other aglonema. I'm gonna give you some treats in a bit. Quiet. Girl, look what he did to my thing, y'all. This kitty is getting sassy and loud. People say that. Girl, shut up. Stop. Oh, you're getting scared over the phone, really? I'm just kidding. Uh, you're so cute. Oh my god. Uh, you were cute under the under the plant, baby. Here's my other oh this is my platinum Miss Peacely. Which doesn't even look platinum. <laughs> Cause I have been having it in a low light spot, but it is my platinum. And then here's a never never plant. Fun. And then this ficus, which is always thirsty, the ficus elastica ruby. You can kind of see how it needs some water. This is my beginner maculata. You guys can see the planter, how it's starting to get tall. I think this is getting really leggy, and I kind of want it, I, I, I like the height, but I want it to be bushy. And a piece did broke off, I don't even know if I can find it. It's already propagated, it's in the, the plant room. It better not be that piece that broke off. Cause like, girl, what is that? I want it to get bushy, but I don't think it splits like that. I don't even know. So I might need to like give it a chop, propagate them in water and then place it in soil and then try, uh, move them in here. Uh, so it can be nice and bushy. Here's my Mostar Esqueleto. Yeah, look, <laughs> she needs something to climb on. Cause I mean, this is a pretty, but like, what is this? I'm giving you high quality light. I even let you get on the wall, girl. And you were supposed to put a leaf over here and you didn't. And you want to have the audacity to put another one and mess with me like that? Stop. Like, don't even. But you're so pretty. Like, your potential is there. But I guess I'm not just, I'm not giving it to you. I mean, this one's a pretty size. This is a pretty side. Or a shoe. But that one is just hideous. I need, I don't know. And that's given like a virus or something like that, like a disease. It could just be damaged to be honest because when this was coming out, I was moving the plant a lot and it could have got damaged, but <sighs> so pretty. Like, look at this. I'm gonna see if I can show you this the balcony. Kitty, quiet. No, I think it's too dark. I think it's too dark. No, oh, it just ran outside. It's hot, it's like crazy. It's kind of scary out here, like in the dark. Interesting. Look at my, look at the spiral ginger, y'all. Like, a string of hearts. Crazy. Let's see if I can set up the phone. And we can like pet. <laughs> it's cooked. <laughs> Actually, I need a brush. I'm so 
so sorry. I should have got this first than anything. We're gonna deep brush him. No, we're not. We're gonna use a calm brush. Even though he is in need of a deep brush. This breath stinks so bad. So I'm gonna give him some treats. And we're gonna brush him. Cause I literally wanna see him. Come here. Come here. Oh, I'm Coffee black because I went out of cream. Valentino. Come here. Girl, look, there's streets. You guys can't even see him. Girl, chill out. I'm not going to do nothing to you. Be so for real. Yeah, so. Oh my gosh, you see my feet. Oh my, to my toes. <laughs> Look, I'm gonna brush you, okay? It's just a brush, girl. It's just a brush. Relax. Metabolism? Is that even a thing? Because I can see a little bit of like his bones. I think that's supposed to be healthy though, right? Like, because I feed him the portions that it says in the packaging. He gets fed four times a day. But I don't know if he has a fast metabolism. I also gave him a crap ton of treats yesterday because we were eating and he was just staring at us. So I gave him a lot of, um, Treats. I noticed that his toe is always so dirty. Like, I don't think he cleans his toe. Really nasty. You want to smell it? Oh, you finished it? That's enough slices. <gasps> Excuse me. I'm trying to, you don't want your cheeks to be rubbed, baby? Yeah. Gross. Oh my god. I'm trying to brush you because you're filthy. That was barely anything. So dramatic. You want the side? The top? Alright. You watch the crown. 
You want attention. I'm brushing you. You like a soft one instead? Alright. It's a brush, girl. Wanna smell it? You got full? Oh! <laughs> you don't like this one? Do you like it? Okay. What about this one? You like this one? Okay, not this one then. It's not like what you want to do. Here's my little fingers. Let's go cheese. You think I play, but I don't play. You have leftover. You're not gonna eat some? Yeah, look. Yeah, it's wet. You made a mess. Baby. Plant. Just call it Domino Pizza. You like it? You can't bite it because you'll die. But isn't it pretty? I don't think he likes the streets. It's a nice favorite. Well, now I know. I think it's gonna be it for today. Kind of a short video, but I gotta get ready for work. And Valentino needs to finish his leftovers. <coughs> You're dirty. Kitty kitty. Da -na 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 -na. <coughs> yeah. <coughs> yeah. Alrighty, y'all. Bye.